American Pickers fans are accusing a scene of being staged as Mike Wolf uncovers a hidden and rare car worth $75,000. Mike, 60, stars on American Pickers alongside his brother Robbie, John, Jersey John Shalai, and Danielle Colby. In a clip from a recent episode posted on the American Pickers Facebook page, Mike and Jersey John check out a mystical Shelby hidden in a barn. Mike called an expert who checked out photos of the rare car, which the star noted had missing parts. When Mike asked how much it would cost to restore, the expert said, well over $100,000. When the expert said offering $75,000 was fair, the buyers declined to sell the car to Mike. The seller said, it might sound crazy turning down an offer for a $75,000 car that's been sitting there 35 or 40 years, but it's a big decision to make. Vans turned to the comment section to accuse the scene of being staged. A second said, These sort of shows have to be staged. It's entertaining television. Sellers have to give permission to appear on TV. Contracts are signed. Camera angles are plotted. Sellers unfamiliar with filming rehearse, etc. Who cares? It is a good program. Frank Fritz's friend insists American Pickers is not as good without late star and fans know it as ratings plummet. A third wrote, all are staged. I think a lot of this stuff is planted ahead of time, a fourth said. A rep for American Pickers did not respond to the U.S. Sun's request for comment. American Pickers season 26 kicked off on October 9. The U.S. Sun reported the show had low ratings for the premiere episode. On the hour-long premiere, Mike picked through Evel Neville memorabilia, including a one-of-a-kind billboard from his Snake Canyon jump. But the episode failed to bring in many viewers, as the U.S. Sun reported just 565,000 fans tuned in. This was a major drop from season 25, which kicked off with a two-episode premiere in December 2023. Classic Car Cemetery raked in 723,000 viewers, and Part 2 of the premiere, Hidden Cash Stash, had ratings drop to 676,000. Episode 3 saw an increase to 880,000 viewers, and the numbers remained around the same throughout the rest of the month. By the January 24 episode, ratings skyrocketed to 948,000 viewers. The numbers dropped back down through most of February with the lowest rating on February 14 at 774,000 viewers and the highest on February 28 at 966,000. The finale episode on March 27 brought in 832,000 viewers. Mike Wolf has created a business empire featuring real estate, antique stores, and more. As American Pickers fans know, longtime star Frank passed away at 60 years old on Monday, September 30, two years after suffering a stroke. His final episode was in March 2020, as he left the show to recover from back surgery. During his time off, Frank lost 65 pounds and was living a healthier lifestyle, including being sober from alcohol. He had been open about wanting to return to the series after his hiatus, but was officially let go in 2021, Mike confirmed. I will miss Frank, just like all of you, and I pray for the very best and all good things for him on the next part of his journey, Mike said at the time. The two had a falling out, as Frank exclusively told the U.S. Son in a 2021 interview, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. I think Mike wants to get his brother Robbie in there to replace me. I don't know why he's behaving like that towards me. Mike and other loved ones were by Frank's side at the time of his passing. American Pickers posted on social media following Frank's death. We are saddened to share that our friend and beloved member of the History Channel and American Pickers family, Frank Fritz, has passed away on September 30, 2024. Frank filmed American Pickers for over a decade. We will always remember the bearded charmer and his never-ending search for vintage motorcycles and bikes. Our thoughts are with Frank's loved ones during this difficult time. For years, American Pickers has taken audiences on a thrilling journey into America's hidden treasures, where hosts Mike Wolf and Danielle Colby, formerly with Frank Fritz, have dug through barns, attics, and abandoned garages to uncover fascinating, often historic items.
The appeal of the show comes from its spontaneous charm, with the hope of unearthing valuable relics hidden away by time. However, a recent episode sparked backlash among fans when Mike stumbled upon a rare Shelby car worth $75,000, which many viewers accused of feeling staged or too good to be true. The discovery raised questions about the show's authenticity and reminded fans of the blurry line between reality TV's genuine finds and crafted entertainment. Here, we explore why this Shelby car find stirred up controversy, what fans are saying about the staging accusations, and how reality shows like American Pickers face the challenge of balancing organic content with audience expectations. In the episode in question, Mike Wolf uncovers a vintage Shelby car, a remarkable discovery for any car enthusiast, let alone a picker. The car, hidden away in a barn filled with decades worth of memorabilia and rusted equipment, was touted as an exceedingly rare model and valued at an impressive $75,000. The setup felt like a perfect moment for American pickers, as Mike expressed awe over the find and the car's owner shared the history of the vehicle. For many viewers, however, the whole scene seemed suspiciously polished and conveniently dramatic, sparking accusations of staging. The car's condition and the timing of the find raised red flags. Typically, rare cars discovered in old barns need extensive restoration, and they rarely look as preserved as the Shelby did in this episode. On top of that, some fans questioned the backstory provided by the seller, which appeared rehearsed and overly detailed compared to the usual off-the-cuff exchanges. Combined with the conveniently hefty $75,000 price tag, the scene left some fans wondering if the show's producers set it up for maximum impact. As soon as the episode aired, social media erupted with fan reactions. Many viewers expressed doubts about the authenticity of the find, labeling it too scripted or obviously staged. Comments on Reddit and Twitter ranged from skepticism about the condition of the Shelby to criticism of the show's producers for seemingly orchestrating the scene. I've watched American Pickers since season one, and this just didn't feel right, one fan posted on Reddit. They're finding things that are way too valuable way too often. Others noted that while previous episodes featured finds with obvious wear and tear, this Shelby looked suspiciously well-maintained for a car supposedly hidden for decades. That car was way too clean for something sitting in a barn for years, another fan commented. They're not even trying to make it look real anymore. It didn't take long for some fans to suggest that the show had either pre-planned the find or even planted the car in the barn to boost the show's entertainment value. American Pickers isn't the only show facing scrutiny over staged scenes. Reality TV has long walked the line between capturing real-life events and enhancing them for entertainment purposes. While viewers tune in for the spontaneity and thrill of discovery, producers feel pressure to keep the content exciting. Over time, fans have become more aware of the tactics used to maintain engagement, and shows like Storage Wars, Pawn Stars, and Antiques Roadshow have all been accused of staging scenes or placing high-value items to keep audiences hooked. For American Pickers, the Shelby incident reflects this tension. To maintain its appeal, the show may feel the need to feature increasingly valuable and dramatic finds, yet these discoveries can start to feel too perfect betraying the show's promise of authenticity. As a result, longtime fans who were initially drawn to the show for its seemingly genuine finds may now feel disconnected when they perceive scenes as being manufactured for the cameras. When American Pickers first premiered, the show primarily featured smaller, less valuable finds with interesting backstories. Items like vintage signs, obscure collectibles, and rusty but charming Americana treasures were the backbone of the show's appeal. However, as the show gained popularity, the focus has seemingly shifted to more high-profile finds, including rare cars, high-value antiques, and artifacts with significant historical worth. This evolution has changed the dynamic of the show. While the earlier seasons showcased the thrill of finding humble treasures, the recent focus on big-ticket items has left some fans feeling as if the show has lost its down-to-earth charm. The discovery of the Shelby car, valued at a whopping $75,000, only furthered this sense that American Pickers has moved away from its grassroots origins in favor of orchestrated drama.
This change has led many viewers to speculate that producers may be actively seeking out or even pre-selecting high-value items to keep the show engaging, diminishing the spontaneous feel that made it so popular. While neither Mike Wolf nor the American Pickers producers have directly responded to the latest staging accusations, it's important to consider the challenges producers face in reality TV. With a show as long-running as American Pickers, there's pressure to keep the format fresh and the finds exciting. However, this can sometimes lead to decisions that compromise the show's original appeal. Reality show producers often defend the occasional use of pre-selected items or planned scenes as necessary for storytelling. However, fans argue that when the goal is to capture spontaneous discovery, these tactics detract from the authenticity that viewers crave. In this case, many American Pickers fans believe that the Shelby scene crossed that line, making the discovery feel more like a setup than a serendipitous find.